What's up YouTube, it's Robo and I'm back with another uh, product review. This isn't really a tech review so much, it's more of just a uh, product review that I got from a company over here called uh, Kinzd, K-I-N-Z-D, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, they're very nice to send me these three wallets. I've been interested in uh, wallets for a while. I've, I've used a bunch of different kinds and I haven't really found one that I've liked um, just yet. So they sent me some of these different wallets. Uh, to test out and to review and to show you guys exactly what they look like and what they can do. Um, so let's start with this one over here. So this is just a very, very minimal wallet. As you can see, it's just a stretchy band. It's a little bit stretchy here. It's got a key ring on the top and you can fit about one or two maybe credit cards in there. It does stretch, but just a little bit, as you can see right there. Um, and then you can fit potentially some cash in here um, but unfortunately it's probably gonna fall out if you're on if you're just not too careful with it um, there are some little pockets in here as well there's a pocket there and a pocket on this side sorry I'm trying to do this with one hand right here um, but you can you can fit some extra cash and cards in there as well if you want a super minimal wallet this this is the perfect one for you it's pretty cheap um, I'll have the link in the description down below for you guys to check all these out they're all pretty cheap wallets um, but they're, they're pretty well made um, but they are uh, decently priced so if you want to check this out I'll have a link in the description and that's all for this real basic one uh, let's move on to this one this is the money clip one it has a pretty powerful magnet on the back here as you can see, um, it doesn't stick out too far. It's actually pretty slim. All these wallets are extremely slim and that's what I was interested in. So comparing that to the wallet that I'm using right now, this one is pretty thick um, compared to this. As you can see, obviously this one has cards in it. This one does not. I'll switch it around to show you guys how big these actually can get and how big they can stretch. But either way, they're still relatively slim wallets. On this one specifically, you can fit your driver's license in this little sleeve right here. And then on the back, you got your money clip or you can clip it to your pants if you don't want to keep it in your pocket. And then you got, uh, it looks like three different slots here for credit cards, business cards, or any other things that you keep in your wallet. So this is a pretty nice, slim one. Uh, I believe that you have this in the back pocket, you won't actually notice the magnet too much. Maybe if you're sitting down on it for a while, or if you're you know, in the car or something like that, uh, you might notice the, the uh, magnet in the back hitting on your butt, something like that, but it still is pretty slim and pretty tiny. So I feel like this would go perfect in the back of your pants. So onto the last one, here's another very super slim wallet, as you can see right here. Super, super slim. It's got a pouch up here to keep some credit cards and some cash. It's got your driver's license little window right here. Uh, another two slots on the top. On the back, you got another three slots right there for more credit cards. and. Uh, your cash pocket, like I said before. And then you got another big opening right in the middle here for more cash. So it does have a lot of compartments, a lot of different areas you can keep your cards and your cash, and it keeps it in a nice slim uh, design, which I really, really like. So I'm gonna be using each of these throughout the uh, next few weeks here to see which ones I like the best. If you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, let me know and I'll, I'll post some more review videos. It doesn't always have to be tech, tech stuff. I have a lot of tech. Uh, videos on this channel, but I don't mind doing regular products like this just normal ones uh, if you guys are interested in them So just let me know and uh, Again, this is my wallet right here So you can guys can see the comparison between these and now let me switch all my cards over to each of these so you guys can see what they look like So I got all my cards in here now I didn't have enough to fill them all completely but just to give you guys a general idea So with this one actually it doesn't look like you can fit a credit card in this tiny little compartment right here I think this is more for cash you could fold up some cash or some coins and put that in there um, But there's there's two little Pockets here that you can keep you can keep your cards in um, I was able to fit about two you could probably fit about three or four without this thing stretching too much um, but you want to just be careful because these these top ones in this little compartment can slide out. They can fall out pretty easily. Um, and if you have cash in this right here, it looks like it'll be pretty safe in there for now. Um, but with this tiny one, just wanna be extra careful with your cards. Uh, this one, it's it's actually pretty decent. It doesn't bulge out too much. Um, I've put some business cards up here and some credit cards in here as well. Um, seems to be pretty good, actually. They all, they all seem to stay pretty slim, even though I keep all my cards in them. Uh, this one is the biggest one so far. I kind of packed this one full of as much as I could. 
Um, this holds about one, two, three, four credit cards on the back, uh, and then one of your ID cards right in the front, and then you still have room for cash. It does kind of open this up a little bit like that. Um, it doesn't completely stay shut, so that might be a problem if you have some loose change in here or maybe some loose cash or something. Um, but they still seem pretty good, especially if you're gonna be sitting on this or having it in your back pocket. It's probably gonna compress this a little bit more um, to allow this to kind of reset. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what they look like. Not super bulky, not super thick. Comparing it to this wallet again, I took all the cards out of here and you can see the difference. This one's a little bit thick, but still pretty slim, this one. Um, but comparing it to these, these are obviously the slimmer models. Um, this, this is not a Kynes wallet, this is a different type of wallet, so don't, don't compare them like that, but um, these are just slim wallets versus just a normal uh, leather wallet. So, I hope you guys like this video. If you, if you do, please hit the like button down below and comment down below and tell me what you guys wanna see in the next one. Um, I like doing these kind of videos, just normal ones, uh, just kind of uh, chill ones where I'm just recording on my phone. Um, so please let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks guys. And thank you to Kinds, Kittens, for sending me these. Really appreciate it. I'll have a link it down in the description. Uh, go check them out. They are a great company and they sell fantastic products. So see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys.